Over the years, you might have become familiar with a term called convert to outlines. For example, when you open up a design in the software, you have the ability to convert it to outlines or not. And when you convert it to outlines, it allows you to have additional editing capabilities. Um, if you choose not to convert it to outlines, it keeps everything at its an original state exactly how it was digitized. And you can do things like change colors and things like that, but you don't get the ability to change like densities and the shapes and you're limited on the amount that you can really resize the design if you don't convert to outlines. But in many cases, when we're working with a design, most time what we want to do is just change the color or add something to the design or even resize it slightly like 10, 15 percent. And it, anytime that you're only going to do those minor things like that, it's better to open the design um, without converting it to outlines to keep it original so that no modifications are made to the design unless you really need them to be. So we've done a lot of work on the convert to outlines and I wanted to show you some of the things that we have come up with because I think you're going to really enjoy the flexibility that this offers and it really gives you a lot of control, control that I've never seen in any other program when working with designs that weren't digitized in the software. And so Convert to Outlines really applies to designs that weren't created in the software that and that don't have the WAF format, which is the native. Anytime you're working with a design you create in the software, and if it's in the format of the software, you're always going to have those outlines there. And the software is going to be able to read it and do um, work with it different than what it would be if it was in a different format, like a PES or a DST uh, format like that. So just to show you, when you open a design, if I go to the open icon here, when you go to a design in the software before this update, this box right here would be checked, convert to outlines. And in this version, it is not selected. Um, and this is because you do have the ability to convert it to outlines by clicking it or after the fact. And so, and you have the ability to choose in preferences if you want this automatically checked or not. So I want to show you uh, basically what the difference is between a convert to outlines or not and how you can tell if a design has been converted to outlines or not and what that means. So I have this design here. I'm going to open it without converting it to outlines. So I'm going to hit open. And this was a PES file. Let me turn off the stitch view. So one of the things that you'll notice right off the bat if you go to the sequence view, when you go to a color and you hit the drop down, it's only going to have one object and it's just going to be called stitches. And when you select it, you don't really see any many options that you can do with something that hasn't been converted to outlines. But if you're not going to be changing anything other than like maybe colors, this is the way that you would want to open the design just to keep it original and how it was digitized so that no modifications are made to it. Um, if you want to modify it, you'll need to convert it to outlines. So really quick, um, I'm going to copy and paste this to make a duplicate of it. And I'm going to move that duplicate off to the side over here. Okay. And I'm going to go back to the center, centering it. And so one of the things I want to show you is you have the ability now in the software that after you open it, if you did not convert it to outlines, you can select anything that you want to convert to outlines and you can right click on it and go convert to outlines. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to convert the design to outlines. And just to show you what the difference is, I'm going to select this original and I'm just going to move it to the side a little bit and notice how everything is like just these black lines and that's just the stitch points. Um, that's all that you see in the design. And that's just showing you that it's all stitches. There are no outlines to these stitches. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now I'm going to select this object and I'm going to move it. And notice that it's totally different. 
and notice that on the edges there's an outline that goes around the edge of it and so with convert to outlines what it does is if the if the design wasn't created in the software it's going to read that design and it's going to try to create outlines or what I call containers for the stitches so a PES file does not have those outlines in it so if I open it I'm not going to get the outlines and the reason that they're important is because if I come in here and I select like this color sequence right here notice that everything is grouped together and I don't have the ability to adjust anything okay but if I come over to this one that's been converted I can select just that piece now I can change the density if I want um, I can also click on the edit tool I can see the stitch angles and I can adjust it any way I want and so with those outlines basically what happens is it gives a container around the stitches so now it has this pink line that you see here was created when I converted to outlines and it knows that there's stitches in here and it and it read it and now you can see what the density is and you can change that in order to change things like density or stitch length to a running stitch you have to have an outline first so without the outline you're not going to be able to do that you're not going to be able to change the density or the stitch length so really the convert to outlines feature is created to help you adjust a design or change the properties of a design but before when you'd open up the design if you didn't open it with convert to outlines you would have to close it and reopen it again uh, with the checkbox selected for converting to outlines now on the software you can just select anything that hasn't been converted right click and convert it to outlines and you can take it one piece at a time i can take just this section right here and i can convert just it to outlines if i wanted to make a change to this section only and and it's it's a personal preference sometimes depending on how uh designer created design sometimes you'll experience little issues when you convert and you resize something it's very common it happens in every single software program and that's why i say if you're not going to do anything other than just changing the um, colors of the design or just uh, modifying it in size by 10 15 percent um, i would recommend that you don't convert it to outlines first and so it's just a, a preference you have that ability and i wanted to show you that in the program preferences if you want it to convert to outlines when you open up a design all you have to do is check this box right here so I went to preferences which was this little gear here and you just click on convert to outlines on open and select OK and now when you go to open a design it'll automatically be checked and and that'll happen every single time you go to open a design it's up to you by default right now uh, when you update the software this is unchecked and so when you go to file and open this box is not checked and you'll bring in the design as normal but like I said if you want to adjust the design properties you can always select it either like right here and all items right click and convert right click and then convert to outlines or you can select just a different one object and convert to outlines so converting to outlines the the theory of it um, it's it's kind of a difficult thing to understand and how the software works with it but think of the outlines as containers and the containers hold the stitches and without those containers or the outlines you can't adjust the properties and like I said before though a lot of times if you're just changing colors you don't really need to modify the design and you can just choose to open it without converting it to outlines first so I know it's kind of a difficult topic um, I just wanted to show you how the software opens designs now and what that means and and how that affects what you can do with the design 
So if you want to go back to the original, how it opened designs normally, you can go up to the program preferences and just make sure you check the box convert to outlines on open and it will do that from that point forward and it'll always do it every time you go to file open that box will be checked. So hope it didn't confuse you too much. It's a difficult thing to kind of grasp um, but I just want to show you the different options that you have and how the software opens designs and what that means when you open it with or without convert to outlines.